Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too. Can you see it going in my mouth? Yeah. How bad do you want to see it going in my mouth? <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Hello from editing Shannon. So obviously I'm editing this vlog and as usual, I didn't film an intro. So this is our Boston trip, which we took about two weeks ago, mid-November. Um, Keith and I have known each other since 2008 and have never traveled together. So this was our first time and it went pretty well. Um, early pandemic when we were like, oh, this is gonna be done by July. Like let's book cheap flights. Um, me and Keith are like, let's go to Ireland. And obviously that is not happening. Um, so about a month, maybe two months ago, we um, decided to do Boston. So it was me, Keith, and Danielle. And I hadn't been to Boston in a hot second. I think the last time I went was to see One Direction in like 2015. So it's been a while. Um, but Boston has a lot of precautions you have to take before even entering the state. Um, I know I, I researched a lot. And then a lot of other people's vlogs or just like a Google search, it's like you had to fill out this checklist. But it was a little confusing because I'm like, who is enforcing this list? Like we didn't encounter anyone who asked for the list. So I was a little confused as to like, or do we present this to someone or do you just have it just in case? I don't know. Um, but I did get a COVID test just in case. All right, I'm getting my rapid COVID test. I have my ID. I think I just hold it up to the window. Okay, that part was easy. This is my third time getting a COVID test and honestly, the thought of sticking something up my nose um, is still pretty daunting even though I've done it twice. But it's very quick. Last time I had a sneezer, so I sneezed like a thousand times. We'll see what happens this time. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So wait, wait, I undo this. No, later on. No, okay. Just, four. okay. Yeah. Yes. Just Between right up my nose? Okay. One, two, okay. Has it been 15? Yes, we can take it. Okay. And then the other one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. Okay. Okay. And I break off the bottom, right? Okay. Thank you. You too. All right. Um, this whole thing is cones. All right. Not so bad. Um, obviously I sneeze because that is a major pressure point, but pretty easy. So when we got there, it was really rainy and gross out. So we didn't like get to explore too much the first day. So that night we ended up going to Italian and it was so good. And a lot of the clips you're gonna see over the weekend, it's just like clips of food and us moaning. But the place we went for Italian the first night on the menu, they had these like eating challenges and we were looking at them like, this is something we would eat normally. Um, but we didn't go for it. Although I do love a free t-shirt, but we didn't do the eating challenge, but I probably could. And I was very tempted. Charles. Mm. <laughs> All right, we are in Boston. Oh, After great. stuffing our faces last night, we've recovered, barely. And now we're going to? Faneuil Hall. Ooh. Okay, is this what your first one of the season or your first one, first one today? Oh! <laughs> mm, it's delicious. <laughs> it's to burn your tongue because that's something I would do. We also did some damage at Primark. We don't live by one, so it was like weirdly exciting for us. We stopped at Primark and I could really go ham here, but I'm trying to practice self restraint. So I got these stupid holiday headbands. Okay, we went ham in Primark. We're gonna show you some stuff we got. That is very cute. I picked that up in black, but I'm gonna need a different purse, but I really, really like it. <laughs> um, 
I'm, that's for me and I love it. I think you guys should get one too. I love for her. Like, it's five bucks, so why not? Like $2. Oh wait, okay, Keith is gonna do a debut. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Okay. Knives out, Chris Evans, cable net. Ooh, I love the color on you too. <laughs> Good boy. Wanna show your other stuff? No. Scrunchies, okay, show me the scrunchies. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, I got this purple hoodie. Which is so college, Keith, when we bought those um, American apparel Jonas these Brothers shoes. ones. I got these shoes. Those would look good with that outfit you're wearing now. I know. <laughs> yeah, I got shoes for $8. Ooh, I was looking at these fake Converse. A bunch of like hats and gloves. Ooh. Wait, you didn't get any jackets? There was this one that I was looking at, and it was I, either I gained 20 pounds, or... <laughs> it's that one. It's that choice. Then we walked to Boston Common and had photo shoots. That's basically all we did. Eat and do photo shoots. And then we ate again and it was Thai food, which I'd been craving for months. Alright, we are at a different establishment than last night, but we're getting Italian and now we're strategizing about what we're gonna get. We're gonna look at the menu for a while. What do you think you're gonna get? I want some pasta. What about you? <laughs> she has two meatballs Fish. already. She wants a sausage. <laughs> I want two risotto balls. <laughs> oh yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Archaeology. <laughs> Pick up, Piggy. You can do it. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so dessert tonight was a little bit of a bust. They were out of all the good things. But lucky for us, we've had our own cake this whole time. Should we cut into fours? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Okay, we are packing up and leaving from Boston and then we're going to Salem, but before we left, I figured I'd give you a tour of La Gemma, the Airbnb. Okay, so first we have the living room, which is pretty spacious. It has um, a chair in the corner, this weird clock, and then a very uncomfortable couch. Danielle, a pretty small TV than what we're accustomed to. Danielle's logging out of her Hulu, but they gave us Netflix, Amazon, and stars. And then we move in to the kitchen, but first we got a half bath, a lot of labored breathing in here. And then there's me. And then a little closet. They actually like gave us um, umbrellas and blankets, which was a nice touch, and a printer. Then a spiral staircase, which will kill one of us before we leave. And this nice cooking show kitchen. Keith, what are you writing? Bad bitches was here. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to write all the way on top there, but they'll get the drift. Yeah. So we got a nice kitchen. I think we should start the dishwasher. Uh, it looks so clean. We fucking dumped the second we got in here. Is there a tab for it? Um, it says, I don't it know. It says it on the paper. It's under the sink, I think it says. Mirror? Okay. And now the spiral staircase. Terrifying. Okay. I lived. So. To the left is the room that me and Keith slept in. The lights are very hard to figure out. So, um, it was a very nicely made bed. We've got a closet in here. This is the, it's an emergency exit, but it's also the load-in for the, um, to get like furniture down here. Then we got a nice mirror. Um, I like the exposed brick, a little um, chaise with some stupid decor, but I kind of like it. Magazine that we never cracked open. What I like is this lamp. It's like a magnet. Ooh, that is so cool. Okay. I want one. Okay. Um, anything in here? Ooh, Harry Potter. A halls, pencil, and a rock. 
All right. Oh, too far. Too far. Okay. Now, in the hallway, we got a bathroom. This is the full bath, so nice bathtub. Shower. Other bathroom things. A toilet. Okay. Okay. And then, finally, we have Danielle's room. Very cute again. Oh, that's a nice touch. That's cute, cute, cute. Okay. And she has a closet also. I wonder what's behind here. Probably a window. No, absolutely nothing. Okay. Okay. Very cute. You got another big mirror here. I suck at doing mirror pictures, but I made the attempt. Little linen closet here. Again, they have nice touches. Oh, <laughs> we went and spent like 20 bucks on uh, shower stuff and it was here the whole time. Okay, and then this doozy that I want to do one more time. Okay. All right, the next day we head up Salem because we're all Hocus Pocus enthusiasts. All right, we're in Salem. Parking was so easy because it's not fucking October. So we just ate at Red's Sandwich Shop. I've been hearing about this forever and we finally got to try it and it was so fucking good. What'd you have, little boy? I had a pancake and a Benedict with some avocado Ooh. and tomato and some bacon. Ooh. What'd you have? We had the same thing. Uh, slop. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious was, slop. Was, yeah, truly gruel. Um, it was, uh, what was it? Corned beef hash. Corned beef hash over cornbread with Benedict, eggs Benedict on top and then Potato. potatoes. And we had Pancake. pancakes to share. And we ordered three, so one each. And the woman's like, are you sure? We're like, yeah, we're fat, we're cool. <laughs> and we couldn't finish it. <laughs> we're fat. But that was so good. I um, highly recommend. I would drive all the way from New Jersey just to eat here. <laughs> <sighs> so now we're gonna walk around, um, do some Hocus Pocus stuff, and probably eat again. Okay, we're going around to the little witch shops. Not that we're gonna buy anything. I don't need an overpriced crystal. We are currently at the Salem Witch Trials Memorial, so it has a stone for every person that was hung or pressed. I think there's 18 or 19 here. Um, and then there's a graveyard beyond, but I think the graveyard's closed. So, we're gonna walk around here. Get some history lessons for you. I'm giving a little hocus pocus door to two um, very full guests <laughs> who are not as enthusiastic. <laughs> okay, straight ahead is the town hall where Max and Danny's parents went to the party and where the infamous I Put a Spell on You performance took place. I put a spell on you. I think you should sing Come Little Children were at Max's house. That's your, um, your specialty. The three pigs have found their home. I actually really like that there's no one around because you don't have to wait in line, there's no crowds. Um, so yeah, it's November 15th and we have not a soul around us right now. We are in Salem Common, which is the big park at the end of town. Um, Non-COVID time, every Saturday during October, they play Hocus Pocus in the park, which is really nice. And at the end of the park, is the school, um, Max and Allison's school. This is now, um, I think, apartment buildings, but this is what they used for the school in the movie. And, ooh, a squirrel. Ooh, what is this? Um, and this right here is where they did that um, trick-or-treat line. Trick-or-treat? So everyone was really full from brunch and not feeling as enthused as I was. So we kind of um, did a quicker tour than what I had in mind. So I just showed them the most iconic landmarks. So the high school, Allison's house, and of course, Max's house. Okay, it's now Monday morning. I'm leaving Keith and Danielle to go take Betty out. Um, I am smushed between two cars. Like, Keith Powell parked it in here, and then this morning I looked out the window, I'm like, cool, there's no one behind me, you can get out easy. But it's the um, street cleaning day, so everyone kind of moved to one side. So there's someone, I they're sitting in their car, and I just did like a once around, and there's 
probably just enough room, but I'm so bad at like the tight spaces thing. Um, and they're literally sitting in their car. I just want to be like, can you roll back a foot too? But, um, so now I'm like, do I sit here till eight when they clean the streets and then they kind of like move back to their spot or do I attempt this? I don't know. So I did end up getting out of the spot pretty easily. I didn't have to panic, but it was still pretty tight. Okay, so that was a quick little vlog. I know people like longer ones, but I felt kind of weird like shoving my camera in my friend's faces. Um, and plus we were just walking around and eating 90% of the time. So I think I showed you basically what we did the whole time, but I will have more videos throughout December. I'm kind of lightly doing Vlogmas, so not every day, but more than usual. So I will see you really soon. Bye.